Hello, wizards and witches! Welcome to another episode of Harry Potter Magic Awaken. This is Kaz. And I'm Wish. And in today's video, we'll be showing you some of the cool updates for the game this winter season. Now, without any further ado, let's game on! So as you can see, they also updated the loading page into some sort of werewolf opening. And the title for this season is... Wait, let's just go in. Werewolf. <laughs> is that supposed to be a pun? <laughs> yes. Werewolf and Christmas. <laughs> is that a character? I think so. I'm prioritizing the candy. Nah. I love the clothes though. I wish they will make that available, don't you guys? So that's the werewolf. Are we gonna be eaten? No. It was a divination. So yeah, as you can see, Hugsmid will be available this season. And this is the time limited card pool, the headless hunt. And Daniel's Christmas gift card skin. I don't think you can pull the skin with the golden key, right? Yes, you can, unfortunately. Only the ruby. So, let's show you how to use both of them in a game. I think the headless hunt is added when you use summons, maximum three. Mm -hmm. I won't let you fight alone. I'll patch you up. Incendio! Also! Let me just say this. The, ca the card skin looks so cool. Yes, yeah, so if you want to have the Daniel Christmas version, you should definitely pull it using the ruby keys right now because there's nowhere they're making that available using the gold keys. The Headless Hunt seems so useful though. And this is the new one that we can actually get at the end of the season if we're able to finish 36 season tasks. And you can also get various prizes like the Christmas themed furniture. I want that. Me too. There's also lots of clothes. Yeah, exactly. The furnitures are so cute though. There are portraits and some fun stickers that are so mood. And there's the Hogsmeade Millie, which is actually a dueling club event. Where they finally banned the Echo that you don't want to encounter. <laughs> yes. And I'm guessing Kaz will ban Bellatrix. See? I did. Sorry, Bellatrix users, but I don't want to see you. There are also deck bonuses. You can also choose your opponent, which is very helpful. But don't get too excited over this dueling. <laughs> event. I was so angry. It's generated, guys. It makes my character look stupid. Look at her, she ran away <laughs> from. And then she. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a little underwhelming when you fight like that. Because technically, you just watch. So, these are the tasks for this event. And we also have a snowy visitor where we have to fight a yeti. It's solo though, so choose your cards wisely, guys. I know I didn't. <laughs> so yeah, you just have to defeat the yeti. Although he is very strong, right? Or maybe I'm just stupid. I almost died for this clip. Ah! Ah! 
But if you win, you can move on to the next stage. And another fun update. Did you just slip? No, I call it ice skating. You can walk on the ice and skate. And this is Hogwarts under the snow. It is very pretty. And look at the Great Hall. It is decked with Christmas. There are lots of places that were updated mm -hmm. for this. Like Diagon Alley as well. Yes, but if you're expecting that the dance club or the social club will be decked with snowy Christmas, then you're up for disappointment, guys. And this is the new place that opened up, which is Hogsmeade. Something that I would really want to explore more. This is Honeydukes. And I guess we can't do anything yet. There's a quest, but I'm not gonna take it. So yeah, we're basically just here to explore all these places in Hogsmeade. And then we can also explore the entire Hogsmeade. You can actually go between fences, but then there are times you get stuck. But it's part of the adventure, you guys. And there are also places that we can unfortunately not visit yet, but soon. So this is the three broomsticks. It is quite more spacious than we anticipated. Yeah, I didn't expect this because in the movie it was a very small like pub. Yeah, even in the books. So the fact that they put also a level 2. <laughs> Yeah, we can't do anything yet. I think when we, we can't even sit, so and I added hog's head in, hog's head in, the shrieking shack. This is where Lupin used to stay, right? Yeah. Was that a bed? Where? Oh yes, it is. I mean, he's bound to fall asleep. He's a werewolf, though. What's that place? Oh, those are fresh blood. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and tap in the notification bell so you'll get updated on our next videos. If there's anything you want us to cover about the game, feel free to comment down below. Until then, this is Wish, and I'm Kaz, and, and we're, we're logging off. off.